Hey guys, welcome back to another video of modded Minecraft Let's Play. Sorry, it's a bit cramped when we dig in off, but in the last episode, we did some mining in the Nether. So, today, let's get these open. Ooh! Woohoo! Ooh, that's nice. Dog still boots. I can teleport with that, which stuff traveling. Ooh, what's the other one got? Not bad, got an ender pearl. That's quite useful. A bucket. I will actually, I'm not going to actually empty the loot out of them. I'm going to put them in here for safekeeping. As you can see, we've done a tiny bit, not a lot, of gathering resources. And it is quite nice. So. We're back off here in the nether. We got pigmen. We killed a wither skelly in the last episode. And if you have skellies, but I haven't really done a lot of killing here. It's not needed to. In the previous episode, you saw me make a waypoint saying, "Well, I'll just show you portal." It's Oh, I forget which key it is. There we go. Farm idea. With the farm idea, that's going to come into later use. But eventually I'm going to have a mob farm here. It's not going to be too overpowered. Well, what am I saying? It is going to be slightly overpowered. And it is going to be quite a big use having it. Is it will allow us to get a load more resources quicker. Gold with a skelly up there, which we've got to be careful about. And by looks things there's a few mobs either above us or below. Oh, okay, yeah. Not dealing with that. Oh, we got cobalt in the roof. Wish I could mine that. Wait, can I? No, I can't. So, in today's episode, like I didn't say, we're going to head back to the overworld. We're going to gather up some resources. And hopefully, gather enough stuff to then make it on top of the nether. As then that allows us to open more of like um, a system, so to speak. The reason I'm saying more of a system is I want to have a ender quarry, which is a bit advanced at the moment for us. I think it'll be a small one. If we can start getting like the basic shape of a mob farm, so like wither skellies, all that kind of stuff, if we can get that on a go, we're kind of golden. I can do a simple one, which requires minimal resources, or I could do one which is large scale, which will work really efficiently. And me, I like to go big. I always have. But each to their own, really, at the end of the day. Looks like we've got a bit of a lag spike. Doesn't bother me. We're here. Ooh, any further I would have fallen in. <laughs> so. If I equipped my bag. One of these had stuff of teleportation. I'm just going to have a guess the second bag in. And I was right. This thing is overpowered, so to speak, for the one reason being, it allows you to teleport, and it's got a limit, indeed. Two fifty, and you see the bar. 
Within seconds, it's charged. This will allow me to metaphorically do stuff like that. So let's say I want to get on top of that. I can do it. Nope, apparently I can't. I've done it before where I've been able to get through blocks. I must have to try it somewhere like here. Oh, almost. There we go. I'm outside. If I wanted to, I can get back inside. This does work with the dimensional anchor. I think it's called. I do forget names. Oh, geometer's location, use of that is geometer's. I forget the name of it now. And game decides to freeze. Just my luck. So. I'm going to head over to the mining world and gather up the pump system. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make a few drums and I'm going to head over there. I'm going to go AFK over there while they fill up. Because you guys don't see the boring work of me draining a lava lake. But as soon as I come back, We'll take the setup over to the never, but I'm going to be saying something else up over there, which will probably be a lot more beneficial to us over there at the never. Um, well, it would be easier to set it up over here, but I can set it up so I can go to the never, get some resources, and then pump the power or pump the lava over into the overworld to then mass produce something or I'll just have some sort of setup where I go from where the, I'm pumping the lava easy way to explain it we I just grab sandstone we have the lava pump station here and this is over by the portal we have it so the lava pumps from point A to point B we collect the lava from point B using drums which then we take it to the overworld and we pump it from point A to B again which B is the power plant which hopefully will be a building in episode 20 I know it's a bit far fetched but only time will tell so I'm going to quickly do some resource gathering and I will jump back in in a bit. See you guys in about 10. Hopefully this is working. If it isn't then I am kind of screwed. I'll have a quick look because no my luck it is not. And if it is I am so sorry for the screen shrinking. But my recording this tends to have a few hiccups from time to time. So, apparently, now it really wants to play up and is now not responding. So, I'll be back when it decides to. Oh, never mind, it's back. So it is just deciding to have a funny five minutes. I need to be investing in a second monitor 
so at least that way I know it's recording or if it's not. Apart from that, you can see we're over by the lava pump. I made an extra barrel for getting lava. I have filled all three of them up. And yet there is still more to be collected. As you can see that we it has actually found us diamonds. But yeah, like I say, there's still more lava to be collected. I even mined all the obsidian as well to uncover all this lava, see how much there actually was. And like I say, but the war waypoint lava for days, yeah, I am, was not joking. I've got so much lava now that it is ridiculous. Complete and utterly ridiculous. It's all going to come in use though. I can use it to make loads of things. Power is the main one, which like I said earlier aiming for at least round about episode 20 no I know we're quite high up in the videos I think this is episode 15 yeah it is episode 15 I hope it is anyway I'm going a long way I am anyway I know that's five more episodes ish if I've got it right, so I make the power plant. And I have like certain days I want to get stuff done by. We've done the minor dimension, which was already quite easily done. We've done the never, which I wasn't, I was actually surprised about. I thought I was going to actually have to build the power plant before. But I thought I need certain resources from the never to get the project done. So I will be aiming for other projects as well. But yeah, like I say, power plant by episode twenty doesn't seem far off with the resources I've got. But we're gonna to have to change our plan for today. And we're going to when the game decides to respond, because it keeps freezing. Yeah, it's frozen. When it decides to respond, I'm going to start work on the auto hammer and auto, well, auto processes. Because if I can get it done and made, it's going to be quite nice. Because then it allows us to progress a bit faster. So let's say I need. So much iron. I can throw iron ore into it, it will smash it up, craft it, smash it up, craft it, smash it up, craft it, and then from crafting it the last time, chuck it into the smelter, which then that auto smelts down, and then I'll have auto casters. So, this is where I get a bit extreme. I'm going to have a smeltery. So I'm going to be building more smelteries in the future to come. One for every single ore. I see pumpkins in the background. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so there's going to be copper. There's going to be iron. There's going to be cobalt. There's going to be ardite. Every single ore in the game having its own smeltery. Because then it just makes it easier to process stuff and then I'll have one huge smeltery in the center for like all my conjoined or conjoined ores so uh, if I want to make manulin throw that in there then I need bronze for anything or alumin alumite bronze ah, alumite yeah I'm getting my ores all mixed up well mixed ores I should say. So, 
as you saw there is a few different auto machines I'm just going to We got a skelly evil in the place. How have you gotten in? I'm not having my first death yet. No, sorry. Doors open. That's how you've gotten in. That door's closed. That door's closed. I thought I closed that door as well. <gasps> we got a legendary. We got a deficient sigil! Oh, baby, that's rocks. Oh, that's golden. With this, we can use it to make one of the resources. Apparently, I didn't have boots. Oh, I did not expect to get that. Oh. Uh-oh. Heavy sieve, steel ingots. Oh, auto hammer. Damn, which is gonna be cheaper? Invar or iron? Iron would be uh, more efficient. Would be. Ooh, that one takes power. That one doesn't. As far as if I'm. Oh. Remembering right, but anyway, I'm gonna smash up some iron ore and let's get it smelting. Because if we can get some more iron, we can start work on the auto processors. Processes. I don't know. I'm just losing my words. So. This bag here. Dark steel. Ooh. Just emptying all of that. I need the mega rubber. Half the wheat, even though the wheat is semi useful. Not at the moment. So, there's all that. I need to really start working on other mods. Now I've lost my diamond hammer. Is in the iron chest. There we go. So now, if I were to break all this iron ore up, so we started with 74 because that's 10. So Another bonus of doing this as well is where I've had previous breaking of iron ore, etc. I don't think I have much spare left from it. Two, three, two. That's a bonus. I didn't think I had much or any. I will admit the iron ore from 1.14, the texture has like slightly changed. So it does look different looking at 1.7 or close like this. Sounds like that zombie had a helmet or sign con. That's funny. So we've begun off with 74. Oh, that's all of it. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. So now we've ended up with 84. Ooh. This is definitely an upgrade. As long as it's all touching, like I said in previous episodes, it doesn't matter. You can just throw it randomly. This is when we get to have a bit of fun. Just random block building. Makes it also look slightly more natural as well. So, for a net all down, let me do the gate. Same again. You hold vein mine. Let me vein mine it all. <gasps> oh, we left one. Not much. Here we go. Click you. No way. Oh. So we've made a bonus of eleven. So that's ninety five. So yeah, it is as you can see. I'm not even. I've not even got fortune on here, my diamond tower. Fortune would greatly increase the amount by quite a nice amount, really. Not just that. It is a bonus. to do this is like you can see already from 74 up to which we're about to see so that's all of it gathered that is a huge increase So that there is ninety five. Oh, ninety five. Oh, thirty one, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, a hundred and seven. So you can already see we've gained over the period. So we had six. That'll take us up to eighty. Wow. We don't even have to do it. It's just going to be easier. We started off with 94. We've ended up with an extra 33. No, I was just doing it the more complicated way. Come on. <gasps> Lovely bag. What do we have? Never quartz. And we don't need that. So, just going to quickly smelt this up. And next episode, because time is getting really close, each video, as you guys know, is going to be a different time. I don't edit these as well, as you guys can probably tell. So, each day, each video is going to be random because I don't keep track of time so I roughly guess and I, my guessing is getting quite good because I'm ranging from 20 to 28 minutes except for sometimes when my game really annoys me which uh, I'm sorry and if the videos are shorter but I'm roughly aiming for about 25 minutes in this episode I don't know till I'm looking at it what how long they are 
which is quite nice because it like adds a surprise because you never know it could end up with half an hour long one or maybe even longer in the future so hope you have a guys have a good day a good night and I'll catch y'all in the next one see you guys later like I say have a good day or night wherever you are and I hope